Hey guys, Infidel 1258 here. I want to do a video today talking about um, the Canadian Deaf Blind Association. It's a uh, association for children and their families um, with kids that are uh, dealing with a degree of deafness or blindness. It's an amazing association that we've had the privilege of being involved with because of our daughter Lumina who has both visual and auditory impairments. Um, she has a um, I don't know the technical term, but her optic nerve is, is greatly reduced in size, which affects her visual ability. And she's um, um, legally blind because of that. And her auditory um, capability is, is greatly impaired in one ear and less so in the other, but the degree to which is, is hard to measure because um, um, just the tests, she's not very cooperative during their tests. so. But she is uh, deaf and blind, and the Canadian Deaf Blind Association comes around families like ours to provide the kiddos tools, techniques, um, therapy, um, interveners, which are people who work directly with the children to help them grow and develop. Um, because as much as these these challenges, deafness and blindness, can um, impair the child's ability to play, learn. Um, uh, grow they don't stop these 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 difficulties don't stop the children from playing or growing or developing they just they stand in the way a little bit to some extent but great technicians great uh, therapy um, therapy techniques in innovative tools and solutions are available and come places like the Canadian death blind association are expert at providing those tools and techniques and they come into our house and they come into our lives and they they love our little ones and they they help them they hold their hands and they you know they help them turn pages of books and they um, they they ask them questions and wait patiently for the answer whereas with a typical child maybe you don't do that you don't need so, such you don't need to invite the child into a conversation so much but with with deaf blind children you need to be uh, you need to extend yourself into into them more than you do with a typical child. But these te technicians and these um, uh, these beautiful people that help and serve uh, children like our Lumina um, do an amazing job of of, uh, of teaching us parents how better to do that. And so this weekend we've been at a conference that's all about that. It's been amazing. It's been wonderful. And it's been so great seeing my daughter just light up with uh, the, the interveners, which is these the the, um, the the term that we use to call the the women and men that come hand in hand with these children and help them uh, engage and grow and learn it's been special and beautiful and I just wanted to celebrate the Canadian Deaf Blind Association um, in this video today and, and give thanks for for what they've done this weekend for inviting us to this conference actually they um, invited us and, and paid for the hotel so that our family could come learn these techniques and tools and, and be better equipped to help our little one grow and, and develop. Deafness and blindness is absolutely um, a hurdle in life, but as I think I've said in previous videos before, you know, sometimes I feel that the hurdles in life are the ones that really cause you to kind of recognize how grateful you can be and how, how much joy there is around you. Um, at least that's been my experience. Everything from my daughter's um, um, terminal illness to her, you know, inability to eat orally to her um, the, the fact that she's mostly nonverbal, um, you know, all of these things are just they they just fill me with gratitude for what she's capable of, as opposed to what some people might feel is just grounds for being uh, disappointed. I don't feel disappointed. I feel overjoyed that she's here with us and I feel overjoyed that there's something like a Canadian Deaf Blind Association that grateful or um, that gladly and excitedly comes into my daughter's life and loves and serves them. Um, just wanted to share that today with you guys and uh, they're not giving me anything for this post and I'm not asking anything from you guys just I was excited about what they've been doing this weekend with my daughter Lumina and with these other amazing children um, and I look forward to sharing some of those photos and, and videos that they provide to us from this weekend in later posts. Thank you so much, guys, for your time and attention. I hope you're having an awesome day. I hope you have little loved ones around you, and I, I hope you can give them a kiss and just celebrate the fact that they're there with you. Um, thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. God bless you.